Hey guys, it's Justin from Top Notch Finishing here, and today I want to run a little experiment on strength of glue joints. Um, being a trim carpenter, we do a ton of trim, a ton of picture frame, and a ton of picture framed windows. So that means all of these is, are just mitered. So what we did in the past, in the first 12 years of what I was doing this, is um, we glue one piece at a time, nail it up there, get it as tight as possible, kind of pop some more nails in it, walk away, and possibly the joint will crack. Um, what I've done in the last six months is I started incorporating clam clamps. So this is a clam clamp knockoff because it's very hard to get in Canada and very expensive. And now with uh, COVID and everything like that, it's even tougher. So I will have a link of this in the description of where I bought them. Anyways, what we did now was we glued them up on the wall and then clamped it on and walked away, took them off the next day, or we took them off in like four hours if we needed to run off to another one. So it's tough because you need a lot, so it's, it's a big investment. So what I started doing in the last month or so, I started using this, which is like a two-part um, spray and glue and it sets up like immediately. But I've been really questioning the longevity of that and the strength of it. So what I decided I wanted to do was I really wanted to run a test. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna glue up one joint with just spray glue, and then I'm gonna do one joint with spray glue with a clam clamp, and then I'm gonna do one joint with just a normal tape on, which is what we use day to day, and then I'm gonna try Gorilla Glue. Don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I'm hoping the spray glue will be the winner here because then I don't probably need to use the clam clamps and um, it's just gonna go a lot quicker. Production is key. You have like 40 windows in a house, 30 doors in the kind of houses that we're working in and sometimes waiting for clamps, it's just, it becomes a lot. So if we could just go into each area glue them up on the floor or set up something in a big room and just glue up everything together with a spray adhesive. We're going to try that. So up first will be, what should we do? Maybe type on one for starters. So lots of glue. Smear it on, make sure I got full coverage. Wet rag on hand, very important. Clamp. Tighten it, glue is coming out. Natural stopping point. There's glue coming out perfectly, which is great. You can do a little white, just gonna make life easier later. And that's one. With the dealing, very strong. A little glue up in the back, it's great. Put this aside. No. All right, number two, Gorilla Glue. Read the instructions on it. It says to dampen one side. Most people probably never read that before. overhead camera would be great right now. Not that high tech guys, sorry. Make sure it's flat. Good to 
I really hope this isn't the strongest joint because I don't like using this at all. Really hope you're the worst. That's two. So, two part. Spray? Not spray. Glue? says about five seconds, I like to just hold it a little bit longer, just that, it's a nice joint. That's why I'm hoping this is the winner. Imagine you just glue these up and you're ready, really ready to rock and roll right away. Beautiful joint. This one, just for fun, I'm going to hand clamp it and then try to put on a clamp on it as fast as possible. Just because I have it, might as well use them. All right, so um, that's that, and to be as fair as possible, I'm going to wait 24 hours. So. See you then. All right, um, full transparency. Yesterday, I did the test and I was not happy with it. I will post the blooper reel, let's say. I'm hoping it's the blooper reel because I wasn't happy with the results. Um, I was very shocked with the results. So I'll go over what I did different. Um, on the instant bond ones, I put one stripe of glue this time I'm doing two stripes of glue for more full coverage. I'm guessing what would be best is to brush it, but it's like super glue. I don't want to do that. So maybe more glue, but what I really wasn't happy with was the tight bond. The tight bond, the yellow glue sucked into the MDF and was a pretty bad joint. So put glue on both sides and gonna try that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna run a little test. Um, we're gonna go with tight bond first. Uh, this was the worst yesterday. I snapped them all this way, going up. I'm thinking I'm gonna try going. Yeah, down. Down. This way rips. Okay. Still not happy. bond, which I wasn't too happy with yesterday either. Just going to lift up. Oh, way stronger with two stripes of glue. Holy crap. This is good. This is really good news for me. Ah, that's what you want. Right there. That's what you want. So running two stripes. Wow. That is exactly what you want. Love to see that. This is instant bond with a clam clam. I think it's useless. We won't be doing this. It's just I had extra clamps. <sighs> Not great. Still like way better than the tight bond. Ripped fibers out of it, but not bad. That was the point that I'm really hoping for us to play on the video. And yesterday, Gorilla Glue was the best by far. So we will see. Yeah, still pretty damn good. So same results as the instant bond. Working fibers. That's what we want to see. So I'm really actually what performed the best, which is great news, is the instant bond. 
That right there, hopefully that focuses. That's what you want to see. Four shits and giggles. I bought more cool. So instead of using this grill glue, which you need to wet one side, I'm pretty sure I don't need to do that on this one. I'm gonna try the whip glue. This is just grill glue. So I wanna try this, and I wanna try the LePage No More Clamp. It says it, it says it locks up in about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna run this with a clamp clamp as well, and um, I'll add this to the test. All right, this is going to be the final test, and then I'll do a quick breakdown of my top three. I'm sure it'll be pretty simple, but we will see. Um, this is the LePage no more clamp, 10 second hole, but I did it overnight with a clamp clamp. let the glue seep in and then I glued the joint again and clamped it but then I get a kind of a sh pretty poor joint so even if this is really good I do not want to go this method at all I can't see how it would be good Ooh, taking a good crack at myself ah. ripping fibers but still not amazing not like Gorilla Glue, the other Gorilla Glue. This is just a normal wood glue Gorilla Glue. We use this, very good. I wanted to use this instead because this you have to dampen one side. This you just glue normally. So I'm hoping for good results with this and I think I'll do all my baseboard with this if I get a good result here. Just like the Typhon, it's a really good joint and it was hard to tear away, but um, it leaves not many like microfibers being ripped out with it. Hmm. So that's it, very happy with the results. Um, it's a test I've been meaning to do for a very long time and I'm really glad that I did. It is going to improve our work and that and that's what we're trying to do right so anyways thanks for watching please like and subscribe i'm going to be trying to do more videos like this and uh, a lot more videos on the job site so you can also add me to instagram top notch finishing there will be a link and just like i said before there's going to be a bunch of links to products and uh, things that i recommend anyways thank you